As a lot of you might know, I actually subscribe to the channel called The Good Stuff. It's got a lot of different things on there, and I really enjoy watching whatever videos they put out. They're always a really good quality video and great information, too. Recently, they're asking for feedback on communities, and I have a lot of interaction with communities, except for my communities are a little bit different than most. They get organized every time I go to work. I get a brand new community each and every single time because I'm a tour manager. I take groups of people on vacation, anywhere from three days to 14 days. And this year, I even have a 21-day tour with some Australians coming in. We're going all over the United States. And it is my job to make everybody get along really well and actually build and create a community. With my communities, we get to go do a lot of fun things. We get to go see the Statue of Liberty in New York City. We get to go see the fall foliage in New England. We get to go ride old trains. We get to take ferry rides. We get to take scenic boat rides, uh, whitewater rafting. And of course, I went to China, as you guys all know, if you watched all my videos. Uh, anyway, with the community, it's a fantastic thing. And how I interact is I have to build a community. But how do you do that? How do you make people interact and get along well first of all you get to know them just a little bit or a lot depending on how far you want to go if you have 21 days you get to know them pretty well you find out what they like to do what kinds of things why are they on this specific vacation or this specific tour some of the other things that i will do while i'm on a tour is i will play different games um one of my favorite games that i love to play and it really is good at breaking the ice two truths and a lie so basically everybody, and this is again, it's an always optional. All of my games are optional. If you want to partake, you can. Uh, you basically write on a piece of paper two truths and one lie about yourself. Don't necessarily put it in that order because if the first two are truths and the last one is a lie, well, guess what? Everybody knows the lie. Some of the fantastic ones I've heard, in fact, one of the things that were that is always engraved in my head or in, embedded in my head is one guy said on his list of three, I forget what the other two, but this one stuck with me, was I played guitar for Elvis Presley or with Elvis Presley on one of his recordings. Of course, that wasn't a lie. He was on, he was in the recording. And it was verified because the driver I had at the time was an Elvis Presley fanatic. And when they talked to each other, they, we found out that, yes, he is indeed in the recording of one of Elvis Presley's songs. And I can't for the life of me remember. So that is some of the cool things you get to learn while on tour. And Two Truths and a Lie is a fantastic way. If you have a group of people who are a bunch of strangers, that's the way to really kind of get the talking going. I'm not going to tell you any of my Two Truths and a Lie because I might actually use them on a tour and I don't want you to be able to cheat. But that's my my take on communities and how I interact with communities. I have to build a community every single tour. Um, I hope you guys go to The Good Stuff and watch that channel, subscribe to it, um, support them because it's, it's got some really good educational, entertaining videos and every month they always have a different theme. I, I really enjoy it. Um, so go check them out. And while you're at it, hey, subscribe to me, like me. That sounds weird. Anyway, subscribe to me, comment if you like, uh, share this video if you like. Thanks for uh, watching my video, watch me babble and ramble. Hopefully I've edited, did, edited did, did this down to a reasonable length video. And uh, <laughs> for those of you who are counting, I'm probably at uh, seven minutes right now, which is kind of long, but I've edited it down. Thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, safe travels.